Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. One, two, one, two, three. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I am happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. I want to talk to you guys about going along just to get along. See, on this journey, it could feel super lonely. When I say this journey, I'm talking about the journey of self-awareness, the journey of spirituality. A lot of you might realize that in the past, what held you together with your friends or with your old friends, um, friendships that really didn't have any substance, that really didn't have anything to offer, but what connected you in this con in these connections is escapism. Like for me personally, I could remember back when I smoked weed and how, you know, when I smoked weed, it was easy for me to meet up with these people um, every day. And basically, we really didn't have anything in common but the weed. And the moment that I stopped smoking, it's almost like we were strangers because that's exactly what we were. You know, for some of you, it might be a drinking buddy. For some of you, it might be a clubbing buddy. I call it the escapist friendship, where if you're not escaping reality, it's like you and this person can't just be in reality be in the moment because there's nothing to bind you together and I remember in the past like I used to piss so many people off and I still do I guess the difference between now and then is I just don't care and the difference between now and then is um I would entertain certain uh things what I mean by that in the sense like I've had a lot of situations where people would want to be friends and you know I Basically, with my whole empathic nature, I can be a bit of a server. I do like to serve. So a lot of the times I'll meet people and because I like to serve, like they want to be friends, not realizing that, yeah, I make them feel good. But the re relationship is just one sided. I make them feel good. But what do they do for me? And it sounds selfish, but like energy should be equally exchanged. So it's like, you know, a lot of the times people will want to be friends. They want to hang out personally, you know, because we would meet in like work setting and they would want to hang out personally. And I wouldn't because, you know, for me, it's like I'm already giving so much energy in this work setting. It's not fair for me in my personal life to spend time just giving in this one side situation. So I would piss a lot of people off or maybe, you know, they want to be friends and or right away I'm like, no, because my body, my whole energy can feel that the situation is one sided. It's like they can't, you know, have the conversations that are important to me. Um, and not even just the conversations that are important to me, just overall, there's no energy being exchanged. Like you'll be so surprised how many people get together and hang out. And basically the only thing that brings them together is the idea of the friendship, the idea of what they have, meaning like you have so many people that will get together just so they could dress up and take pictures on social media to give the illusion to everyone else about how great their life is. And I see this all the time and being able to understand it on a deeper level, it's a bit sad because if you knew these people personally, you know that their life isn't anything uh, as far as what they portray on social media. And that's fine because, it's, I mean, social media only allows us to uh, share a small percentage of our reality. 
And of course, I'm going to want to share <clears throat> the more positive side of my reality. I'm not going to want to tell you guys like, you know, about every sad thing that happened in the day. So I get that about having a positive image on social media, on the world stage. But I've had situations where I used to hang with someone when I was younger who would always want to go out and I would get excited when it's time for us to go out because I love music and I love art and I love having a reason to get dressed up and go listen to music. I can dive in it forever. And at the same time too, I wanted intimacy and the friendship. Like I wanted us to like, I don't know, get to know each other maybe. And every time we would go out, it's like we would sit there and it'll just feel so cold. And the first thing she'll do is like start to take pictures of me, you know, even though I didn't, I don't want her to take pictures of me, but she'll be like, let me take a picture of you. Because what will come after that is her saying, take a picture of me, take a picture of me, take a picture of me. So it's like we would go out. And when we go out, it's like when I look on Instagram and see the pictures of what our night looked like and reflect on what our night actually looked like. It just wasn't the same. So don't be fooled about what you see on social media and based on observation. It's like the people who stage the best lives on social media often don't live those lives the way they stage them um, as far as the happiness that appears to be you know, in the images, like if you have to go out of your way to let others know how happy you are, it's like, how happy are you? Like, I remember the same friend um, on Valentine's Day on social media, she posted a picture with herself with like three or four bouquets of flowers. And I think it captioned something like taking application, like in so many words, she was saying like, there's so many people that's interested in being with her. And I remember later on that evening, she texted me like, hey, wanna go down to the beach and have dinner on Valentine's Day? And I was like, no, because like on Valentine's Day, I don't really like to go out because everywhere is super crowded. And, you know, at the time, you know, being single, like, you know, I just don't want to go out and everybody's coupled up and I'm just in there by myself or whatever, just keeping it real. Like, I'm happy for the couples or whatever, but like, it's just too crowded, too much going on and I'm not in that vibration. So I, I said no, but I mainly said no because after a while I realized like going out with this friend, like it just turns into a photo shoot and I turn into her photographer and it's hella annoying. But I thought to myself, this is hilarious because I know this person where this is a person that is going to take a free meal every chance they get, meaning this is a person that will go on dinner dates just to like get a free meal with someone that you know would be repulsing and want to invite uh, well repulsing to them and would want to invite others along just so it doesn't look bad to get a free meal and so i know this person so for valentine's day for them to get so many flowers and then you know want us to go to dinner it, I wonder, like, did she send herself flowers? Because if someone was willing to buy her a meal, she would go get that free meal. So the point of this story is, like, basically these fake, like, fake reality, fake situations where, you know, people can possibly send themselves flowers just to, like, you know, just, to, just for the look of it and then wanting to go out to a fake dinner because of course when we go to dinner I'm not going to be in the picture so it's left to who's viewing on the other end to kind of you know fan wonder like you know who's taking her to dinner who's this who's that so like basically what I'm saying is like after a while like we just couldn't hang anymore because I thought we were gonna have, you know, like a real relationship or instead it was for show. And I think that has been my thing all along where I feel like people just want to befriend me for show, um, befriend me just to say that we're friends where I guess with my Scorpio 
son or whatever like it needs to be real like if it ain't real i don't fucking want it so talking about flowers like how do you like my flowers back there um yesterday this guy was selling flowers and i saw those and i'm like i have to have them and today's friday so you know i'm celebrating the venus ocean energy with my yellow flowers and my yellow candle and, you know, Venusian energy talks about relationships and friendships. But to all the beautiful weirdos out there, like this message is like, don't feel bad for, you know, being by yourself. Like, I'm sure if you can have it any other way, you would be with others. And when the world is so fake, sometimes it could be so easy to wonder if something is wrong with you, why you don't have a bunch of friends. But because you see the world for what it is, you see people for what it is, it's hard to unsee what you see. So because you see the world and people for what it is, it's hard for you to get in these fake friendships and these fake situations. Like, you know, I've always observed like girl groups. And again, sometimes, you know, I always reflect back to myself and say, maybe it's me. Like, maybe something is wrong with me. Why? And, you know, working in the salon for years, you know, I get to work with the public and I get to do a lot of observation. And every time with these groups, it's like the whole group vibe is surface. It's it's surface. And at the same time, to a certain extent, a lot of the times it's codependent. It's rare that I see these groups that are genuine um, surface in the sense that like um, wanting to give pay a, paint a picture to everyone else. Number one, number two, a lot of the times these people are too afraid to stand on their own. So their strength and numbers. So that's where the codependency comes in, where everyone is um, like passive and being fake with each other just to get along, support and foolishness stuff that they wouldn't just to get along. Like I can't get with that. And, you know, I'm, sh I know you guys who watch this channel can relate to like not being able to relate to the foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Like if we're friends, like me and my friends, you know, and I don't have many, it's the circle is so tiny, but me and my friends, like we are able to tell each other the truth. And there are situations when I share my truth or they share their truth and we just don't talk for a little bit because that truth hit, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you respect their honesty and you go back because you appreciate and respect that truth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't do the fake situations. And when I observe these groups, you know, and I get to see them on a closer level, I get to hear, you know, like this one will be talking junk about the rest. It's like, basically they all often don't really like each other like that, but too afraid to stand on their own. So it's that get a, it's that go along, it's like that get along, that go along to get along type vibe. And that ties in with everything that's happening in the world, because those are the same people that you'll see that will go and get jabbed just so they can paint the pictures on social media that they're living their best lives. Where if you know them personally, they have to drink every day or es escape reality every day in order to live this uh, this supposedly best life. So don't be fooled by the images that people portray, the stories that people tell. Like be comfortable with who you are and your overall human experience. Don't feel bad because you don't have a million friends and you're not on social media, like painting this picture of this perfect life. Because I feel like those who are really living the life don't have time to like, you know, let everyone know how great their life is. You know, like those who have it don't have time to convince others that they have it. It's just like someone who needs to let everyone know how much money they're making, the kind of position they hold at their job, or how much they're climbing up the ladder at their job, where real ones don't even tell you like how many sources of income they have unless someone genuinely ask and they feel like this person deserves to know you know what i'm saying so pay attention to the people who feel the need 
to always tell you like how great their life is and what they're achieving from what they're not. It's like they're searching for acceptance from you or maybe something about you makes them feel insecure and they want you to know that they're on your level too. Where for me personally, like I don't like to give out personal information unless for whatever reason, you know, I feel like this person should know. Like I was talking to someone the other day and we were talking about streams of income and I could feel that this was a genuine conversation. So I started sharing different passive income, I, um, passive income um, ideas or whatever, or personal experiences. And we were going back and forth and sharing, but it didn't start out where I could tell that they're just saying things just to, you know, just to be competitive and, you know, passive and just to be passive competitive. And you'll see that a lot in these fake groups. So basically, the point of this message is overall, don't beat yourself up to get along in these groups just for the sake of getting along in these groups. As time moves forward, you will be, you will made to feel guilty for not getting along. You will made, you will be made to feel guilty for not fitting in. And it's okay. Like you don't need to fit in. Don't betray yourself in order to please other people. Because when I think about past experiences where I used to like smoke and just hang around these groups of people just for the sake of hanging around them, like nothing good came from it. In situations like that, you're forced to like peer pressure and encouraged to do things that aren't really a reflection of who you are and what you stand for. You know what I mean? So like stand out, stand out, allow yourself to stand out, be okay and be, be okay and be comfortable with standing on your own. And I used to say that a lot to one of my siblings, like you have to be okay with being by yourself and standing by yourself. You have to be okay with holding your truth, knowing your truth and be okay with everybody else disagreeing with you. Because when you're not okay with that, you will fold and find yourself in situations where people are taking advantage of you. Find yourself in situations where you're doing things that aren't of you. I guess that's the beauty of being a black sheep where from the beginning, you've always know what it feels like to be the opposition or dealing with an opposition. And sadly, most of the time, the opposition should be someone who should be nurturing you and taking care of you but instead they're your opposition so it's almost like you were made for this you were trained for this you know what i'm saying so you know when i look out into the world and i think about the future where most where the sheeps are getting along to get along they're all walking behind each other off the cliff you know they're all dancing off the cliff they're all um walking behind each other taking selfies off the cliff to let the rest of us know how amazing their lives are it's like you know again with the false images they'll paint pictures like we're missing out because we're standing in our truth but you're not missing out for standing in your truth because you know that basically these people are fake so everything that they post is fake their relationships are fake like they don't know how to get together without drinking or smoking and just be together they don't get together with truths truths as far as what they have went inside themselves and what they feel they get together and basically have pissing contests um talking about who knows more about what who read in some book you know talking about the facts and we have to look at the fact that these books that we read and i love to read you know what i'm saying but i'm aware that these same books that we use to like define reality and life was once written by a single person who had an opinion and over time collectively we lift this author up lift this book up and give it authority you know i have the the reasoning mind to know that i could be one of those people who have written a book and people support it and because of that it's lifted up so it's important to go inside of yourself 
and find the truth inside of yourself and connect with others who go inside of themselves and find the truth within themselves. Because the people who go inside themselves and find truth inside themselves are being led by a higher power, not people who are being controlled and being force fed information, but they don't realize it because they feel great to know that they are identified with the norm. They are identified with these with with basically society and they get to climb up the ladder with each other and hit the ceiling like crabs in a bucket and fight to see who's gonna hold the position or eventually they'll be replaced in these positions anyways. When you are authentic and you are originally yourself, you can't be compared to anyone else and, and no one else can compete with you. And that's what I love about being me. Like I can't compete with anyone else and no one else can't compete with me because no one could be me like me. And I am too busy being me and doing me to want to compete with anyone else you know what i'm saying so while everyone else is doing this or doing that like you you know they can't like show off to me because i don't care and if i don't care it doesn't matter you know what i mean because i'm too busy doing me and embracing the things that brings me joy the things that make me feel me where the people who are busy trying to impress everyone else like they're experiencing ins insanity and anxiety trying to keep up while i'm just chilling you know floating along in the ocean of life and having experiences beautiful experiences to where when i'm an old lady laying and reflecting back you know i'm gonna be excited about everything i've done and the way i've done it according to my own terms and not doing do it trying to keep up with everyone else so if i'm trying to keep up with everyone else chances are a lot of what i do wasn't for me but because it was what was trending you know you don't need to trend when you set trends you guys, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a beautiful yellow heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.